We're back with the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Time for us to look at the second conversation. The House of Representatives at the plenary uh, re-invited the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, uh, CBN Godwin Emefili, to fully brief the lawmakers on his recent monetary policies, especially the cash withdrawal limit of 100,000 naira weekly. It will be recalled that the House had via motion at the plenary session uh, at the week summoned MFLA for explanation on the policy slated to take, if, take off uh, on uh, January the 9th, 2023. The House had found the policy unattainable and asked the governor to appear before it on December the 15th, 2022 for more information on it. But the governor was not available on the day to brief the House. However, he wrote to the Speaker of the House and uh, we're talking about Femi Bajabia Miller pledging to brief the lawmakers at earliest uh, possible time. <laughs> That's usually the format of this letter. But the governor was also not available on that day. And so uh, to brief the House, however, like I mentioned earlier on, he had written to the speaker and he's requesting that he would brief the House at the earliest possible time. But the However, it, it was also reported that... Um, the minority leader had drawn the attention of, um, you know, the House to the fact that they had taken decision to suspend this action, as the action of having this policy been implemented on the 9th of January. We'll just head straight to um, having this conversation now with our guests this morning. Uh, quickly, we have two gentlemen who will be joining the conversation uh, via Zoom this morning. Uh, we have Suleiman, who's on standby. He'll join us. And we also have uh, Husani, who joins us this morning, an economist. Olari Waju, Husani, an economist. And uh, Suleiman Akondi joins the conversation. He's a public affairs analyst. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for being part of the show this morning. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having us. All right. So um, let me start with Olari Waju. Uh, what are your thoughts on this development? The CBN cash withdrawal limit, the CBN governor not being available to answer, and the fact that, you know, the House is saying we had already taken a decision to suspend the policy. Uh, what are your thoughts, really? Yeah, thank you so much. You see, um, the policy of cash withdrawal limit is like uh, two in one, right? There, there has been like a, a policy that was released a couple of weeks ago to identify cash uh, in circulation that uh, is over 80 percent in circulation so cbn came up with a figure to say we have 3.2 trillion naira notes out of which 2.7 trillion are out of the cash vote so it, it brought about the counterfeiting the security challenge and the, 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 the negative effect of such and they brought in the, resign, the redesigning of the legal tender notes of 200, 500, and 1,000 naira notes, respectively. And I'll attempt to, as well, ensure that this same set of money do not go out of the uh, bank votes. Again, another policy came out, which is the withdrawal limit. But however, as much as uh, possible, th th this withdrawal limit of a thing, it's uh, positive. Uh, if it is well, uh, well implemented, it's a positive uh, uh, policy to the economic growth. All right, but no. nevertheless, yeah. there are some key areas that are left untouched. Take for example, the policy identified the limit of 20,000 per individual per day to maximum of uh, 100,000 per week and corporate for 500,000 per week. But, but, but fail and also identify what you can get on POS to be 20,000 naira, what you can get on ATM machine to be 20,000 naira. But fail to identify the fact that reality of Nigerian market, uh, of um, if you want to buy a, a common bag of friends, is at 5,000 naira. So that means if you cannot buy with cash, you have to buy with POS. But the POS now has a limit of 20,000 naira. Are you saying you want to buy a bag of fries in the market and you have to go to the market twice? So the limit has to be adjusted. That's one area. Also, we have over 1.4 million agent network in Nigeria at the moment to, you know, drive the financial. Hussein, uh, 
Well, let's stay with the action. I mean, we understand that this is what this policy is about and the impl implication for all of this. But we're, we're looking at, you know, the action of the CBN governor, the action of the lawmakers here, you know, has been summoned to answer questions. I mean, lawmakers have been really concerned about this particular policy. And at some point, the minority leader has stated that, hey, we have taken a decision that it should be suspended, although the banks, uh, you know, have gone out and uh, some of these currencies are already in circulation. So I I'd like to share your thoughts on that. The MFLE, um wasn't available, you know, to respond to all of this. And then there's re-invitation. What's the guarantee that he will respond? What happens now that this, you know, the lawmakers are asking that they be suspended? Well, you have the Apex Bank. It seems like a lot of confusion in the system. 9th of January is almost here. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you for calling me back on that. I think uh, the action of the governor, even claiming to be on official uh, duty, is another show of, to say, uh, lack of giving... Uh, respect to constitution uh, constituted authority uh, I, I don't know if uh, there is a sanction or a penalty by by the house of uh, representative or the legislative arm to take action but i don't see any reason why uh, he cannot even designate a subordinate deputy director or deputy governor or somebody who is in that section to come and answer uh, put more clarity to this withdrawal limit i think it's more of uh, patriotism and trying to carry people along you know we we are in a country where we we get away with a lot of things and i i think there should be a penalty for avoiding such because nigeria need answers and uh, the answer needs to be given at the right time. Night of the, uh, January is here and is closed, and it is necessary that the House of Representatives take necessary action to ensure that the interests of the citizenry are protected. All right, uh, Suleiman, um, I'll come to you now. What exactly, um, you know, is at play here with the uh, with the National Assembly? On this invite, some people feel uh, that uh, this is corruption fighting back. Are you of the same view? Uh, no, uh, actually, um, good morning and thank you for having me. Um, I can say that uh, the National Assembly is acting on the interest of the common uh, masses to invite the CBN, CBN governor to brief them on the issue of the withdrawal cash uh, limit. Just like as I uh, said by uh, Hussein earlier, um, this um, policy of the CBN is coming at a time that a lot of Nigerians are even unemployed or underemployed, so to be. About 1.5, 1.4 million members of uh, AMBA, and that is mobile money operators of Nigerians, will be rendered either um, out of work or they will lose their job. So, in essence, Again, uh, answering your question, this is uh, something that uh, the CBN governor, in um, the, as the head of the um, uh, Apex Bank in Nigeria, should show up and uh, answer to the invitation of the as of uh, member of as of representative. As uh, earlier said, you remember this policy has less than two weeks to even go into action. So, and also, we should also take note that by Thursday, the National Assembly, the National Assembly must be going, may, may be going on recess for the year. So, if the uh, CBN governor did not appear on the front of a uh, National Assembly this week, I must tell you that that will be odd, and it will be taken over to up to uh, next year. So, this is, if it is corruption, I don't think it's corruption fighting back. So what we just need is that let's put policy in place so that these things can, can be checked. National Assembly are acting under their statutory function to invite any public official that took any decision or any actions that is detrimental to the welfare of the entire Nigeria. So we cannot afford about 1.4 million and an average Nigeria to not even have access to basic things like withdrawal and all among other things. Just like Hussein said, 35,000 Naira is uh, the bag of rice. You are asking me that if I want to buy a bag of rice, is that a deposit 20,000 today? 
come back the following day to deposit another one. And again, if the idea is to run um, the to to, uh, to promote um, the uh, e naira or how do I put it, uh, the electronic uh, transfer, we must also look at that. How many Nigerians are bank? How many of them are on bank? How many of, of them are under bank? All this must be put into consideration. If you even if you go to places like Abuja, it's even easier to do. If you go to other rural place or other rural town in Nigeria. It will be hectic for Nigerians to carry out their daily activities based on the withdrawal limit that has been capped on them. So it needs to, to be looked into. The CBN governor should at least, if he cannot come in person, should send someone that has a good knowledge of the whole policy so that he can brief the House of Rep. All right. Um, 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 do, for those who you say are not uh, in the, in the um, uh, financial system, um, isn't this a very good opportunity for them to be captured. I mean, we want to see every single Nigerian in the financial system so that we can trace who is sending money to who. Um, don't doesn't the don't, don't the benefits outweigh uh, the disadvantages if you look at this this whole situation? Okay, uh, I would like to come in there. So uh, yes, the benefits outweighs it. However, if we recall that this policy has been the cashless policy has been uh, on ground since twenty twelve. And it took at least five years before people begin to adopt the, the, the cashless policy. As of 20, 2017, where the POS was introduced, was adopted by the general public. So it is even uh, uh, the COVID-19 that made it more stronger, you know, COVID-19 uh, uh, outbreak then, that make it more stronger, that people see a reason why they have to do this. So what we are saying here is this policy has been on ground, but this needs to be forced. There is no proper awareness, right? Education is also, illiteracy is also a problem because people don't know how to use smartphones. A lot of this technology are on smart technology. We have seen a lot of theft uh, activities happening on USSD, which makes it more risky. So people need to be educated and it takes time, more especially where you deal with regions where people are not uh, illiteracy at the high level. It's there. So there, there needs to be time. It's an opportunity, but we need to be a gradual process in phases, not like uh, you do it a short while and just hit it like that. So what we are saying is if there is a possibility to have an increase in limit, create room for more uh, you know, adoption and uh, enforcement, I, I think it's a, it's a good one. It's a, it's a good opportunity for, for Nigeria. Oh. so. Well, let, let's have Suleiman share his, his thoughts on, you know, the next uh, issue that is going to be raised. Of course, um, Khan and others have actually said that uh, it feels like a, all of this, you know, some people are saying it's just political elements, a lot of disgruntled individuals who are, you know, pushing against this particular policy. Do you think that those who are speaking against this policy, are, you know, at it at their interest or is for the interest of nigerians at the end of the day yeah i think that's where the um interest come in now um the i think someone there is one thing um, that um we said nigerians are poor then um there is a, a withdrawal limit the same nigerians are saying that no this is out of the place now for those that says um the amount and uh, the policy is about a particular interest they may not be out of place but at the same time one thing we look at it is this anything any interest that takes care of our collective interest as a nation should come first as we say also postulated one thing we should look at is that the illiteracy level in this part of the world why is, is so is so low and again number two um the number of people that are not that are even on bank should also be, be brought into the into the card of the financial uh, inclusion by policy. Now, if you are taking these people out of the whole thing, it's like you are frustrating them more. This thing has to happen in phases. What we should have done now is that let us at least widen the scope a bit, increase the uh, the withdrawal limit, and also the timing. It can even be the first quarter, the second quarter of the year to do to do all these things. So that's my take. All right. Uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for your time. 
uh, Olari Waji Hussein, uh, who is an economist in Abuja and Suleiman Akande, public affairs analyst. We're grateful for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time. All right. We'll uh, keep monitoring the situation to see where exactly this ends up. If a mere Philly Godwin, who is the um, CBN governor, will appear, I think uh, the the uh, the application, the expert application uh, filed by the Department of State Services identified him as Godwin Mayfield, full stop. And then the judge, uh, Milord the Honorable Justice So, um, pointed out that, that they didn't even say who he was. It was left to the imagination of the judge to know whether he was uh, the <laughs> CBN governor, the Godwin Mayfield, a high-ranking individual. So <laughs> it's really we've seen if Godwin Mayfield, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria, we have to point that out, not to say Godwin Mayfield, full stop, uh, will appear before the National Assembly and what will come out of that. For now, Nigerians are still speculating as to the motive uh, of the National Assembly and indeed the DSS. A lot is going on, really. Uh, it's a bit messy, but we pray for the best and the uh, outcome for the country at the end of the day. Uh, that's the size of our package this morning. Uh, you can follow us on our social media platforms. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Plus TV Africa. We also on the internet as well. You can check our website out. We're on YouTube at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels. And my name is Messi Bopo. Do you have a fantastic day? We're joined the newsroom at 9 o'clock. Fourth on News Brief. Please stay with us.